primary difference is in the way that they get your immune system to wake up to fight the virus. Um, and so the mRNA stands for messenger RNA, which is a, a essentially a, a way that your cell kind of transcribes um, the messages it has. So basically what that vaccine does is it goes into your body um, and the cells in your body see that uh, and the cells start to make a protein. And that protein then your body sees is, oh, there's something new in the system. I need to I need to recognize that. So if ever I see it again, I will I will go after it. And so it targets that spike protein. You know, when we see a picture of COVID and it's got little spikes on it, that's what our body is learning to recognize. Um, and so having been vaccinated, it's seen it once. So if ever you're exposed to COVID in the future, your immune system knows what to do. Um, AstraZeneca works in a slightly different way, sort of uses what we call a vector, um, which actually um, it, it is a different way of getting the virus into the body and into the cells. It's a more traditional way that we've made vaccines um, and it will allow the allow the body to do a similar process, right, to wake up the immune system to, to, to fight against COVID. Um, but it's just a different way of getting the information in. And once once that virus has done its job and your body has been sort of woken up, then it's then it's done. It's, a, it's not like it alters your permanent DNA or RNA, you know, on an ongoing basis. Thank you.